I'm really delighted and pleased to announce that today a landmark agreement to broadcast AFL matches live into China, starting with the 2010 Toyota AFL Final Series, uh, that agreement has been completed. It's a first for Australian sport. The Shanghai media will televise one match, one AFL match every week live into China on international uh, channel Shanghai, ICS. So we're showing the finals starting this, this week, including our Toyota AFL Grand Final, live into Shanghai, and next year, for the 2011 season, we'll be showing one home and, uh, one home and away match live into China every weekend. This agreement will also extend to the Kaspersky Cup, which of course will be the AFL Shanghai showdown between Melbourne and the Brisbane Lions that will be in Shanghai this year on October 17. This is just a really wonderful opportunity for the AFL to expand its AFL international audience with games to be shown across the Shanghai region to millions of viewers each week on free-to-air television. I do want to, on behalf of the AFL, acknowledge the tremendous support we've had from the Victorian Government and in particular from the Premier who himself was in Shanghai for the World Expo in May and took time to inspect the stadium and actually kick the first goal. Uh, this government has been very supportive of the AFL through our AFL multicultural program and was actually helped us pilot uh, the introduction of multicultural officers of which now we have 12 across the AFL competition. Um, this is a very historic announcement today and it's one that's come about through a lot of hard work between the AFL, between China and between our government and China. As Andrew has said, I was in uh, Shanghai earlier this year. I visited the Jiangwan Stadium, kicked the first goal there and you might recall took a specky mark in the stadium from someone who kicked it up from the ground and in doing so broke their, uh, pulled their calf muscle in about three different places. Uh, so it was a memorable day. Uh, but uh, you might recall also that we had uh, Vice President, the Vice President of China, uh, Vice President Xi here just a month or so ago he met with me, met with our cabinet, and then he watched a Carlton Fremantle game um, here at Etihad. As a result of all of this, uh, and the great work by the AFL, uh, this is an historic announcement today. It's great for Victoria, great for Australia, but also great for AFL footy. It means that the potential audience reach going into China is tens of millions of people watching our homegrown game, the game that started here in Victoria, spread across Australia, and which is now running across China.